All right, here we are once again. Um, it's that time of year. Snow blowers are uh, they're not working, and uh, they keep ending up in my shop. So here we've got another one. It's a it's a Craftsman 27 inch. Uh, any particular model number on here? I guess maybe uh, we'll figure out S A E J 1940. Um, anyways, we'll see if we can grab some of this year. I think we'll see. Um, this one is starting good, uh, running good, but once it is uh, warm, it doesn't want to sort of uh, start very easily. And uh, when it's really cold out, it doesn't want to start easily. So as long as it's reasonable, it seems to start. Other than that, it's having some trouble. So same kind of deal. Uh, more than likely, what we're going to do is so I've already pulled the. Uh, uh, the one cover here off um, the muffler. So same kind of deal. Basically, we'll just pull the car apart, give it a clean, and um, and go from there. So uh, if you haven't done this before, um, not that hard. If you have, you probably are just gonna guess at it and go. Anyways, so for those of you that uh, that don't know, anyways, a couple of bolts here, here, two there. Um, there's a bunch of switches and some pumps and all sorts of knobs going on here so we'll see what happens once we get this undone more than likely something's going to kind of bind up here and we'll have to take it apart and redo it and figure it out anyways we'll uh we'll, we'll carry on all right so we got the, the screws undone um so that this uh i don't know the choke knob anyways is going to come up um if you don't have one of these uh these things are great they're a, a body sort of a clip uh remover for panels like inside of vehicle doors and stuff anyways Grab yourself one, they're good for all sorts of things, uh, including pulling dandelions out of your out of your lawn. They're awesome for that. Anyways, you're gonna slide this up underneath it here and just kind of pry up and take that uh, sucker out. And then hopefully from there, this should, this should pop off. A bit of a sticker still on there. Um, I don't know, maybe that one needs to come off as well or not. We can work around it, that would be great. So we got a couple, couple different wire hookups to pull in here. So we got the, the kill switch at the bottom, or I guess the uh, the safety switch, so your kids don't start it up with without you being around. Heaven forbid, and actually do some work. And then uh, gonna stop and start switching here as well. Um, so these are both on the left side. I'm gonna go ahead and mark these, otherwise. I tell you what's gonna happen is we're gonna get these backwards and never run in again. Okay, so we've uh, gone ahead and um, emptied the the gas out of here, and uh, basically there's there's a screw at the uh, the bottom here. There, there's two screws. One holds the float float bowl on. The other one is uh, a drain, and you should always drain this out in the summertime. Good habit. Anyway, so we've gone ahead and. Loosen these two bolts off, uh, just sort of long uh, nuts, I guess. Um, and from there, we should be able to take the carb off. So just pull that cover off, set it aside. Remember how it went on there. And then uh, basically here's, here's the carb. Um, so what we wanna pay attention to here, um, probably another piece of shielding we'll have to take off. And then, um, Actually, we might be able to get away without it. Uh, and then we'll just undo this lever. Um, so this comes off of the, uh, the gear inside the crankcase that basically uh, uh, sort of regulates um, the, uh, the speed on this thing. So it kind of tries to keep a, a bit of a, a constant speed there. Um, opens and closes the, the butterfly valve based on that. So, I don't know, pretty straightforward probably. We'll just take it off and, and give it a cleaning and that's really all it should need. Um, anything more than that, I don't know, maybe we'll check the spark plug on here. Um, Father-in-law's got an extra spark plug. And uh, this, uh, see this, I don't know if you can see it on the video or not. Anyways, this this is a PVC vent on the top of the, um, sort of the, the head of the engine where the valves are. This is cracked, this should be replaced. This actually shouldn't even have cracked. I mean, this thing's only like, 
you know, this is its second winter. It's kind of ridiculous. Anyways, it's basically venting the, the stuff back into the atmosphere. Um, I'm kind of surprised on this one. It's newer that it's not tied back into the carb because normally these things are supposed to vent back into the carb, burn off that excess sort of uh, vapors from the engine, um, less less pollution. Um, however, uh, it, it is what it is. We'll see if we, I don't know, maybe can order a new one. Um, just only because it's just gonna spray shit out all over the place and just make everything that much more dirtier. Um, better to spray it out the bottom than spray it all over uh, everything else in here. So, all right, let's uh, hop to it here. We'll just, that one's easy. This one's probably a little bit more of a, a stretch there. And then from there, um, we've drained the gas. Um, hopefully most of it. Throw my glove on to begin with, but I was going to go play games later. I didn't want to have, you know, stinky uh, gas fingers on the games anyway, so we'll just um, undo the clamp here. Um, fairly good beefy gas hose here, though, which I'm a little bit surprised about because the, the rubber on that vent is cheap as shit. And then uh, this... This actually looks like something um, reasonably substantial. You have to look it up later on and see what see what it actually is. Yeah, there's probably that sucker right off there. That's probably got it. And then, and it's nice too to see that it's actually got a. Uh, um, a pet cock in there to sort of uh, valve to, to stop the sink from draining. So, so good on them for doing that. Anyways, there's uh, basically the carb. So we'll, we'll throw it on the workbench and have a look, see if there's anything obvious in there. Okay, so i just gone and loosened the, the nut off on the bottom here. There's probably a little bit of gas left in there just to kind of a... Uh, just enough to give enough odor to just take the edge off, right? Okay, so good, uh, good and clean in there for that part. That's good to see. Um, and if you're new to this, um, what you want to watch with these floats is that you don't lose anything because right here, this spring will slide out. That little piece right there has got uh, another probably little spring on the bottom. You don't want to lose that because sometimes it will come if you can see it in there. Let's see. I don't know. You can sort of see the spring in there anyway, so I'll pull it out very, actually, uh, I'm going to leave it in there. This one's got a, actually, it's got a bit of a retainer on there. I don't want to. I don't want to mess that retainer. Anyways, there's a spring in there. So good to know on this one um, that it shouldn't come flying out. So that, that is good. So keep these parts separate. Um, interesting to note that, uh, I don't know, there's a little bit of schmoo there. I think inside looks, I don't know, reasonable, I guess. Um, that, that jet in there, we'll pop that jet out. Uh, We'll take it and, and uh, give it a good blow. Um, what else? Yeah, there's there's a there's a jet there as well. So I don't think we should have to go too deep in this. Something's probably a little bit plugged. Anyways, there's another one in there as well. Um, however, this is a this is an odd setup here. Um, that's the. Uh, that's sort of the the idle screw, basically. But these things never really run on idle. They're kind of always sort of open just a tad. Um, anyway, so remember how many screws to undo that. And uh, yeah, we'll see what's going on here. This is this is weird how it's retained in there. All right. So on the off chance this is your first time, anyways, you just you know take a screwdriver. Put it in there and that little jet and 
uh, needle will come out. So anyways, that's your orientation. Um, the screw is on the bottom of that. So this sort of bottom jet and you put that up inside there. And uh, yeah, basically feeds gas up uh, on the inside. So take it over to the, to the blower and give it a good go. Okay, so I went over to the uh, compressor there and just gave it a quick little um, blow, get a, get, give it a good clean. Um, I can't remember the last clip, maybe I'll have to edit this out or whatever. Anyways, um, this, this little valve in here, um, it gets uh, aligned with some of the, the ports inside there. So you can see that. Um, the only thing retaining this in was essentially what I think is an afterthought really, because they got this little, I don't know, plug thing that's kind of a line sits up on top of this and and then this, right? So that was kind of holding it on. Um, if this falls out, then this whole kind of thing falls out. Anyways, it's a real shitty setup. Like, um, I don't know, under understand. Anyways, whatever. It, uh, it is what it is. Um, this does have an orientation. Um, if you look on a flat side and it really only should go in there, you know, kind of uh, flat side to flat side. So yeah, you can kind of see that anyways. So just uh, put it back in there. Um, you know, there's a chance that those, those you know, I don't know, Buna and gaskets or whatever, um, little O-rings can, can rot out or something, but uh, you want to keep an eye on those. And then this, I'm just going to double check. Um, there's a little bit of a, a uh, an opening in there. Make sure it's not plugged as well. So, um, uh, upon closer inspection, um, this, this is, it's freaking cracked already. Like, unbelievable. This one's good at the bottom for some reason, and this one's freaking cracked. So, uh, you know, luckily for, uh, you know, uh, Princess Auto, you've got to have this shit anyways. I just happened to have something here, and hopefully I can find something to match this up and replace it. Otherwise, I don't know. We'll put it back in there. Maybe have to order a, um, a card kit for it. Um, wouldn't hurt anyways <clears throat> just to have some extra spare parts based on how shitty quality some of these things are to begin with. All right, so we got it back together here. Um, <clears throat> that little O-ring that I was trying to replace, these were all uh, too fat. Uh, I needed something skinnier. Uh, anyways, whatever, it's it's in there and it's probably doing a good enough job. Um, but we will we will see. Um, I guess we'll have to wait until it gets cold again, and then, um, I don't know, try it from there. Anyways, so uh, basically we'll we'll put this back together, um, reverse engineer uh, from where we started from, and uh, fire it up and, and see how she goes.